everyone welcome to this session on singular value decomposition or uh, SVD okay so in the last two sessions we have seen um, the other two uh, matrix decomposition methods one was uh, Chalisky decomposition and the second one was Eigen decomposition okay and what was common to these two methods was uh, the matrix that we want to decompose should be an uh, n by n matrix that is it should be a square matrix and preferably it should be symmetric matrix okay so uh, only a square matrix can be decomposed using Chalisky or eigen decomposition methods suppose if we have a rectangular matrix m by n matrix so then uh, we have to go for the singular value decomposition okay so this singular value decomposition or svd supports the decomposition of rectangular matrix okay so that is the major difference that is why singular value decomposition is important okay so eigen decomposition is possible with the square matrix only in a rectangular matrix uh, like a belongs to r m by n a can decomposition is not possible so we apply singular value decomposition or svd okay and then what is singular value so let a belongs to r m by n that is a is a rectangular matrix consider the matrix a transpose a so that means take the transpose of a and multiply it with a okay so that will be a symmetric n by n matrix and uh, which is a positive semi-definite matrix so the eigen value of a transpose a are lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 etc lambda n they, those are greater than 0 and arrange these lambda values in the descending order that means the highest value will be lambda 1 and the second highest value will be lambda 2 like that okay so we have to arrange the eigenvalues in this order suppose we have the eigenvalues 1 3 and 8 uh, we have to assume that lambda 1 is 8 and the lambda 2 is equal to 3 and lambda 1 is equal to 1 like that so the highest value will be for lambda 1 second highest for lambda 2 like that and take the square root of these lambda values uh, we represent it as sigma okay so sigma i is equal to square root of lambda i that means sigma 1 is square root of lambda 1 and sigma 2 is equal to the square root of lambda 2 and so on and we call this sigma value as the singular value of a okay so this sigma is called the singular value of a this lambda is actually for a transpose a okay so this is uh, uh, this, this is the eigen values of this matrix this symmetric matrix a transpose a and uh, sigma is actually the singular value of the matrix a okay so instead of eigen value we are going for singular value in this uh, decomposition okay so then uh, sigma 1 is greater than or equal to sigma 2 greater than or equal to sigma 3 that relation will be kept uh, even after we are taking the square root okay so this relation will be kept and these values are greater than 0 okay and these sigma values are the singular values and what, how do we do this uh, singular value decomposition let a be an m by n matrix and assume that its rank is equal to small r the uh, singular value decomposition of A is A is equal to U sigma V transpose. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the form of uh, singular value decomposition SVD. And uh, U and uh, V are the orthogonal matrices. Okay. Made up of the eigen vectors. And sigma is uh, the diagonal matrix made up of the sigma values. Okay. The sigma values sigma 1 sigma 2 like that okay all the other elements are uh, zeros so that is what a sigma okay so these three uh, so a can be decomposed in the form of these three matrices okay u sigma and uh, v transpose and 
let's see what are these uh, matrices u music man v okay so where u is an m by m orthogonal matrix okay so remember our matrix size is m by n rectangular matrix size of a is m by n and here u is an m by m orthogonal matrix and v is an n by n orthogonal matrix and the sigma is an m by n matrix where diagonal elements of first r rows are singular values of a and the remaining entries are zeros okay so why we call it as r because its rank is uh, labeled as r so uh, the rank of the matrix a is r so the first n uh, first r rows will contain the singular values and this remaining will be zeros okay and the size of this matrix is m by n so so please make note of these uh, dimensions okay u is m by m and v is n by n and sigma is m by n and how do we calculate u uh, and v so first we can go for v so we take the eigenvalue equation ax is equal to uh, lambda x okay so keep this equation in mind and uh, if a is equal to m by n matrix and what will be a transpose a okay a transpose a will be n by n matrix because a transpose is n by m and uh, uh, this a is m by n so when we multiply it we get uh, an n by n matrix okay it's a symmetric matrix and we apply this a transpose a in place of this a in this eigenvalue equation so we will get a transpose a into x is equal to lambda x and where x is the eigenvectors and lambda is the eigenvalue okay so um, here we uh, can we re rename this x as vi okay in order to uh, differentiate this v and u matrices so we take it as vi a transpose a into vi uh, so this vi is actually the eigenvector of this matrix okay a transpose a okay so vi is equal to uh, instead of um, uh, lambda we are writing lambda i into vi so lambda can be replaced with the sigma value sigma i square okay so sigma is uh, sigma is actually root of lambda i so we use the square here lambda i uh, sigma i square vi okay so from this uh, we have to calculate uh, vi so for every sigma value we have to find out the vi vectors okay um, eigen vectors corresponding to each sigma value okay and uh, this uh, we will get uh, v1 v2 like that and arrange them in 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 columns and uh, we will get the vector or the matrix v okay so vi's are the pairwise orthogonal and orthonormal matrix uh, vectors and v can be represented like this uh, each column represents each eigenvector v1 v2 etc vn okay so first column represents v1 second column represents v2 third column represents v3 uh, and so on and uh, the last column will represent vn so finally this will be an n by n matrix okay so we uh, we start with a rectangular matrix and we convert into we make it into a, a square matrix by taking its uh, um, transpose and multiply it with itself okay so then we got an n by n matrix and uh, find out the eigen vectors of this matrix and we'll get uh, the corresponding vector uh, v, v vectors and finally the matrix v okay so that is an n by n matrix and now we have to go for m by n m by m matrix u okay so how do we do we multiply a with the a transpose so that will give you an m by m matrix okay so a is an m by n matrix a, a into a transpose is m by m and find the eigen vectors of a into a transpose uh, this is equal to a into a transpose uh, into u uh, i is equal to sigma i square u i so here we the eigenvectors are represented with the u i okay 
then find out the ui values and uh, write it in columns u1 u2 like that so first column represents u1 second column represents u2 up to um so this will be an m by m matrix okay so that is v um, that is u and okay now sigma is the diagonal element and the uh, it's a diagonal matrix whose diagonal elements are the singular values sigma values okay then uh, th it will be written like this sigma 1 sigma 2 uh, etc sigma r and uh, these are the diagonal elements are the singular values and all the other values are zeros and the dimension of this matrix is m by n okay then um, we can see an example find the singular value of uh, singular value decomposition of a so this is the matrix and the rank of the matrix is given as 2 okay so we find out a into a transpose this is a into a transpose equal to this matrix and we have to find out its uh, eigenvalues d minus lambda i is equal to 0 determinant we take the determinant and uh, finally we get it like this so the lambda values can be 0 2 and 8 okay so the first uh, lambda um, 1 will be lambda 1 will be 8 lambda 2 is 2 and lambda 3 is 0 so the sigma values can be written like this sigma 1 is uh, 2 root 2 that means it is root 8 and uh, sigma 2 is uh, root of lambda 2 and uh, sigma 3 so these are the sigma values and we can uh, find the eigenvectors for uh, these lambda values okay as uh, described previously so the u1 values we will get like this u1 u2 u3 like this 1 2 1 okay u1 is 1 2 1 u2 is minus 1 1 minus 1 and u3 is 1 0 minus 1 next we have to normalize these vectors uh, 1 by root 6, 2 by root 6 uh, and uh, 1 by root 6. So how do we normalize a vector? So if we have a vector like this x1, x2 and x3, how do we normalize? Uh, first of all, we have to find out the square root of uh, the sum of squares x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square. Okay. So, um, uh, in order to normalize it, suppose this is uh, D, okay. So, what we have to do, we have to multiply, divide it, um, this, uh, every element has to be divided with uh, this D, okay. So, this will be the normalized vector, okay. So similarly, uh, here the u1 was uh, 1, 2, 1. So we find out uh, d value as root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square. So that is, is equal to root uh, 6. Okay. We have to divide every value with root 6. So that it will become normalized. So that's what happened here 1 by root 6 2 by root 6 and 1 by root 6 so similarly u2 and u3 will be normalized and finally we'll get u like this arrange it in order so this is u1 the first column is u1 second column is u2 and third column is u3 okay. and in the same way uh, we can find out v also and the sigma uh, it's written like this. It's a, it's a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay. And then uh, this is the first uh, sigma 1 value. Sigma 1. This is sigma 2. And uh, this is sigma 3. Okay. This is sigma value. And find the value of V also. Okay. So uh, when you calculate, you will get the V as this. Okay, this is another example for a rectangular matrix. Uh, follow the same procedure and find out uh, the answers. Okay, so sigma will be like this, root 6, um, 6 root 10, 3 root 10, like this. And V will be this one and uh, U will be this one. Okay, 
so you can do it uh, on your own and compare the answers and next is the geometric intuition of the singular value so uh, these are the uh, this is the vector space we have okay and uh, when we apply the v transpose uh, they will change uh, there will be a base change and that will be uh, uh, in the same direction of the canonical basis x and y direction okay so v transpose applies a base change to this vector space okay and uh, when we apply the sigma sigma is the singular values okay or the lambda values they uh, actually scales the vectors in the vector space okay so when we scale this uh, um, a circular vector space we get a an elliptical vector space over here okay the change in um, the vectors is different that means uh, the lamb sigma 1 and sigma 2 values sigma, sigma 1 elongates the vectors and sigma 2 is uh, compresses the vectors okay so uh, first we apply a basis change, then we scale it, then uh, we apply a U so that U is actually rotating the vector space. Okay, so uh, this again and there is a change in uh, basis also. Okay, so the vector space is rotated. Okay, and uh, these three uh, operations okay this is equivalent to the operation that we apply with the transformation we apply with a okay so when we directly apply in uh, the transformation a to the spectral space we will get the same uh, vectors uh, like this and it is identical with applying these three transformations in sequence okay first we apply v transpose and then uh, sigma then u okay these uh, the this will also give the same result as that of a so that is uh, the uh, geometrical intuition of uh, singular value decomposition okay so that is all about the singular value decomposition you can try out the exercise questions given in the video thank you for watching